And welcome back, this is Ballers with an episode of Let's Play Xeno Gears. I'm joined, as always, by Fei Fong Wong, Doc Satanazuki, and Emeralda. I forgot her last name. As you can see, I've done quite a bit of level grinding here. Everybody, well, these three people, are up to level 81 and 82, but what I've really been working on is gears. Look at that. Okay, I know fuel socks. That, that's just how it is. But look at that attack! 2700 attack! And that's because I have them all equipped with a GNRS 50s engine output up 50%. I don't care how much fuel I have. I really don't. It doesn't matter. I will destroy you with one light attack. Uh, I know I said that I was going to be doing all this money grinding out at uh, one of the Animal Relics. I think I said Animal Relic 2, but I lied. I found out that the best place to, to level grind is right here. Right here. There are basically three enemies you want to look for right in this general area. Hold on while I do look them up here. I believe... Okay, one of them is definitely the gimmick. Now, the gimmick... Um, it has a chance of dropping golden vests, uh, neo gimmicks, I should say. Um, but if you have the trader card equipped, like I do on Bay, then he always drops. Yeah, trader card is equipped. It is always dropped, and those things are worth three thousand three hundred and thirty-three gold. And then, if you go and fight. What are these called? Neo Tears, which are also right outside the snow hideout. They will drop Golden Hoods, which are worth 22, 22 gold. And then you can also fight Forbiddens here. You guys remember those guys? They were the ones that were like uh, crucified on a block or whatever. They drop Gold Nuggets if you don't have the Trader Card Equip and you kill them before they break free of their bonds. So that's what I've been doing, just mostly money, and the, the levels levels are kind of incidental. It kind of happens. So I did give this guy a gold nugget, and then I also gave him gold bullion, which I did have on me. If you don't have them, uh, a gold bullion on you, then you'll have to unequip the, the trader card, go into one of the animal relics, and fight a death eater, and then, uh, then he'll drop a gold bullion for you. So are you done? You should be done. Can't wait until I find something. He's not done? Are you kidding me? He's supposed to be done by now. That that disappoints me. Hold on. Well, that just puts a little bit of a damper in my day. But that's going to be okay because... We have one more optional place that we should go to before we actually go to the final dungeon of the game. Yes, I will be going to the final dungeon eventually. Just just get in. We are headed for Dune Man Isle. Yeah, just Isle. Which is where the sea captain told us to go. There's going to be great treasure there, so holy crap, what the hell happened here? Ugh. I'm just gonna, just gonna fly right over that, I guess. Where we need to go is back on the Ave continent. And there's this... Not this one. This little isle right here. Right, you know, to the, to the west of Bart's hideout. Here, we find... More... Well, ruins, I guess. Why won't you land? No, seriously, why won't you land? Do I have to land, like, here? Seriously, what the hell is going on? Land. What the hell? The game's trolling me again. Can I land here? Why won't you land in? Hold on while I try to figure this out. Okay, I was able to land it this time, so let's go ahead and go into Dunaman Isle, which is over here, apparently, so... I don't know, just spam around until you find a spot where you can land, I guess. I went back and equipped everybody with the Golden Hoods, which are the best things out there. What the hell are you? We're the Merry Dune Men! We have a treasure west side ho, east side yo! This is our turf! Ain't no place for gears here. The land is a changing. Why? We're not even sure. Anyway, it'd be really dangerous. 
This ain't no place for wimps like y'all. If you they are going very, very quickly. Do I want to go back? No, I will take you guys on. You're so stubborn. Yes, yes I am. Because I'm pretty sure you guys are like the most basic enemies ever. I have everybody equipped with speed shoes, so this should not be a problem whatsoever. Go ahead and use Haze of Fire. I don't even think I need to do that. I think... They they die so fast, I don't need to use death blows. And I'll try to prove that next turn, but I do like Haze of Fire. Haze of Fire does very, very nice damage. So, let's see. One, let's go for that. Yeah, no need for death blows or anything like that. Just die. You get 300 damage is more than enough for the victory against these weaklings. You get a thousand experience. As if I need it anymore. 360 kill. Awesome. But we need to keep moving. Now that we have our random battle, what are we up against? Oh my god, what the hell is that? Go, oh, Haze of Fire! Yeah, you can't use gears here. Can't use gears at all, so. Pretty much. Going to be using the best stuff that she got. What are you serious? It only did one damage each? Okay. Let's go for a waterfall attack. Surely this will do massive damage to it. There we go, 479 damage. And down it goes. I never even got to see what it was. But I think it was from a while ago. You get a thousand damage, or a thousand experience, no gold or anything like that, so let's just keep going. Yeah, we have to fight things outside of our gears that we would normally fight in our gears that we did a long time ago. Okay, I thought I was going the wrong way, but apparently... Hold on. Yeah, this place gets rather confusing, so just had to double check my notes. But I am, I think I'm going the right way. We want to just keep going east. Because if you get lost, the screens start to repeat themselves once again. It's a desert. It happens. I think this time I want to go north. Which is this way. And then we got more of these douches. Like I said, I think this time I want to go north. And hopefully this will work out. Because there should... Should just be where I started. What the hell? That is not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, okay. Do I have something to take you out? No. Yeah, he's my white mage. That's right. Oh, well. I'll just cut this out once again. These guys shouldn't be very tough. Even the ten robo shouldn't be that tough. Yeah, for the record, two death blows was all it took. Okay. Uh, I don't remember where I am, so... Let me, let me leave and then try to come back. I think this is the way out. It should be. Damn it. Now I'm just completely lost. Okay, let's go east. And then east again. I think I might have gone out west when I did not mean to. Land sharks. When was the last time we saw land sharks? Seriously. These guys are nothing. Go Haze of Fire. I like burning things in the desert. I don't understand why I do that either. Yeah, 1400 damage. I, I might as well just shove it. Let's just go see if this kills him. Just spamming triangle for the win. 189, not enough for the win. How about, how about another 17? No. Fine. To actually use stronger attacks. Apparently Faye punching sharks just, just doesn't cut it anymore. You gotta use a sword on sharks. Cut off its fin, make some soup out of it, call it a day. Seriously? Now you're just toying with me. Now these guys don't get turns in because of my speed shoes. What the hell? I will definitely cut these guys out from now on, but seriously? Why are you not dead yet? Here, go hit the fire. Finish them off. This is just ridiculous. 
Should not take this long to take out the land shards. Unless he's glitched for whatever reason. But the game has not glitched out enemies like that before, so I don't understand why it would now. 1333 experience, no gold. This is not a good place to level up. Level grind. Okay. Off the screen to the east. Off the screen again to the east. Oh shit, we got a dragon. And it wastes its turn. Okay. These things you do want to fight. You do want to kill. You cannot bring in the gears for this. Once again, the sand just does not allow it. But these guys are well worth the fight. And I believe we have... Okay, water heals it. That That is good to know. I will keep that in mind. But we were doing so much damage to it. I think I should be able to take it out. They have about 6,000 HP from what I've seen. So hopefully the death blows are going to do this for me. That did no damage? Are you kidding me? Go Yami K. Let's see how this does. There we go. 44, 4,500 pretty much damage. Oh, okay, I thought it was glitched for a second there. It just decided not to do anything. Now let's go for Haze of Fire. This should finish him off, I would think. Yami K is just so powerful. Right in the crotch, man. Right in the dragon's crotch. It's, wait, that healed him too? Are you kidding me? Go Ray Count then. So apparently all elemental damage it absorbs. I don't think Ray Count counts as elemental damage. But if it does, yeah, that is still not enough. One more Yami K should put him down for good. And then we can find out why I wanted to fight him. There we go, 45, 55, and the long pause of pausing this. Not enough for the win. Are you kidding me? Fine, Mayu gets you. Finish him off. Seventeen hundred. That should be enough to. F You're just messing with me, game. What the hell? Why is he not dead yet? He does not normally have this much HP. Oh shit. That is his special attack. Not enough for the victory, though. I'm gonna try to finish him off while we're here, though. Because he's not gonna get another turn in for a long time.